one-to-one -one technique and individualize the treatment of the globular lines based on clinical and anatomical landmarks. Analyzing the anatomy of the glabella, it is possible to identify three main muscular groups, the procerus, the corrugator, and the depressor superseding. Having in mind that every wrinkle is formed perpendicularly to the muscle fibers, we can use this piece of information to interpret which muscle is responsible for the appearance of each wrinkle in particular. Based on that, a technique called one-to-one -one was developed for the assessment and treatment of the globular lines. This scheme of lines and related possible injection points is represented in this picture. The purpose of the current study is to evaluate a customized assessment for the treatment of globular lines using incobutulinum toxin A. This is a single-center evaluator-blinded therapeutic cohort study, which enrolled 130 women with moderate to very severe globular wrinkles in the mass. Those subjects were divided in two groups of 65 women. The first group followed the standard scheme of five injection points, using four units per point. The group two followed the one-to-one -one technique, which dosage and points of injection were determined after individual assessment, varying from three to 12 possible injection points. All subjects were photographed under maximum contraction before treatment and after four weeks. The photos were assessed by two blinded raters and graded according to the MERS aesthetic scale for dynamic globular wrinkles. The primary clinical efficacy was defined as a two-point reduction in the MES score on day 28. Both groups were treated with botulinum toxin A injection. In the analysis of the primary outcome, 80% of the patient, patients achieved a two-point improvement in the five-point group, which is aligned with literature data. However, the one-to-one group presented significantly superior outcomes, with 98.5% of the patients achieving a two-point improvement. Dose of INCO injected per patient was comparable between both groups, being 20 units in the five-point group, and a mean dose of 19.7 units in the one-to-one -one group. In the five-point group, patients with glabular asymmetry and those who also utilized the frontalis and orbicularis presented worse performance. In conclusion, incobotulinum toxin A effectively reduced the glabular dynamic lines. The individualized assessment and treatment through the one-to-one -one technique resulted in a better performance than the standard five-point treatment, especially for asymmetric lines of the glabella or the involvement of other muscle groups than procerus and corrugators.